and welcome to my channel so today I wanted to talk about the Vichy Laboratories it's a little dirty I'm sorry mineral 89 booster um, skin fortifying daily booster I was reading the French label which I don't I'm not really good in doing anything like that so um <clears throat> anyway I have obviously I have already been at the bottom and this has been really kind of hard to get this part so I don't know if I will get it or not I do remember saying that I would wanted I I would wanted bleh, I wanted to do a review when I was half into it I just thought you know why not wait for just finishing the whole bottle right makes sense so anyway Initially, um, I did make a, a first impression on this and I really, really loved it. But that was the first impression. I think I only used it for like a few days or a week or something. Now that I have completely used it, I am not going to repurchase this at all. And if you've noticed, this wasn't even in a part of my favorites April or May. Or any of my favorites because what I noticed after you do keep using this because what I would I've used this two times in a day before I put moisturizer on I've also used this once a day I've also used this every day and I have used this every other day I've used this four times a week three times a week once a week twice a week what I've noticed is that if I do use this two consecutive days at a time um, yes, that that frequently or even if I did two days now and I skipped it one day and I did it another two days This is what's gonna happen This area right here on my nose will feel really me really grainy and whenever I would just do this There would be whiteheads coming off I Don't really have a lot of whiteheads to begin with so this is actually making or producing more of those issues which would be what would because the reason you get you get whiteheads and blackheads those are um dirt that goes on your pores and stays there and it becomes hard and that's how it becomes whiteheads and um and blackheads dirt oil um yeah excess oil usually contributes to that so pretty much before then my pores weren't really a huge magnet to 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 my my facial oil or dirt and stuff like that but when I would use this it would um I didn't that was so annoying for me it was just so distracting that it made me not want to use it so I so that was from using it twice a day so I, I thought to myself you know I'll change it and just use it once a day so I did, and it still did that. I then switched it to every other day, and sometimes it'll do it, sometimes not. So I thought maybe I'll do it um, two days in a row and then off one day, and it will still do it. So what I noticed is I only can use this once a week, maybe twice, um, but if it's too far, I mean too close to each other when the last time I would use it, I would still get that on this part of my face, the nose part, um, as well as like right over here. I wouldn't say, I wouldn't say it's a T-zone because my forehead is not included in that. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh my gosh. It came out of nowhere. But it will be like <clears throat> sometimes here, but not really. <clears throat> It'll be around this area right here and right around my nose but where here on the arch of my nose <clears throat> oh my gosh and over here I would just do this it just kind of glide my finger and when I would look at my finger there would be a bunch of white dots and every time I would do that and it would just I would think how am I producing so much <clears throat> so I have oily like an oily t-zone essentially 
um, and then dry on this areas here. I have combination oily dry skin. <clears throat> And especially um, now, I've always had sensitive skin, but since I've been pregnant and breastfeeding, my hormones are still trying to go back to how it used to be. So my skin has always been more dry than anything else. And now with the hormones, it's sensitive, it's a little bit more dry, except for the nose area, which is oily. And then they're like, these are kind of normal, like they said. But then the rest of my face would be like a dry, like dry area. Um, so when I use this, I thought, you know, it helped on the dry areas for sure. It was soft and it didn't have all those stuff. But if you have oily skin, uh, this would not be good for you because it will, for whatever reason, <clears throat> it will boost because it does boost hydration. So it makes sense why the oily parts of my face has like tiny beads of whiteheads just coming off. Because it doesn't pill. It's not pilling or anything. It's more beads. Like teeny tiny. Like it, it feels like sand but soft sand if that makes any sense. Um, just what I do when I glide my finger. Um, a bunch of them just sticks to my finger. And it's really. It, it grosses me out. I've never had that before. I've never had that issue before. So if you have oily skin. Um, I would not recommend this at all. If you have dry skin. Super dry skin. Dry combination would be normal and um, dry. This is definitely something great for you because it does hydrate. It. Um, I don't wake up where I feel like my skin is being stretched. I don't feel like it's itchy. I don't feel like it just it's uncomfortable when I do use this. Unfortunately, it just doesn't work for me due to that issue. Um, so I will not repurchase this again. It was a really good try though. I did use the entire bottle except for a little bit there and I, after doing this review, I am definitely going to toss this out. I'm not keeping this. I'm not going to try and get the last drop or anything. So I also have sensitive skin and as I mentioned, if you, if you're not, if you're new to my channel, I have an eight month old and um, my hormones are still really up there that I'm still really sensitive. Um, this did not affect that. I didn't have an allergic reaction. I didn't have a burning sensation. It wasn't, aside from the beads or the sand on my nose or like a sandy sensation, there was no negative um, effect on it. It's just the reason I don't want to repurchase this again is because that was so strange for me and so disgusting for me that it's hard for me to want to repurchase this again but I don't know I am I don't know come winter time and when I am not you know my hormones have gotten back to normal maybe I want to pick this up again but for right now my hormones are still adjusting going healing itself trying to go back to normal and it's still not there yet so this is definitely not for me right now again if you have oily skin this is not for you just stay away from it it is a very beautiful bottle it's very simple yet classy um i do love a lot of vichy whoops vichy products um and this is definitely just not for oily skin okay if you have sensitive skin this is fine if you have normal skin, this is fine, and you want a little bit of a hydration boost, this definitely works. If you have dry skin, very dry skin, extremely dry skin, this is your friend. This will definitely hydrate you. This will definitely make sure your skin, that you don't wake up feeling like you're, you're, like, you know how you wake up and you just move your mouth a little bit and your cheeks just feel getting stretched and dry and annoying and just irritating and comfortable when you have this it definitely doesn't do that so for anyone who has dry super dry very dry extremely dry skin this is definitely a serum a hydration booster for you
Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you hit the like button, the subscribe button, as well as the bell, so you'll be notified every time I do have a new video uploaded. There should be links over here um, in regards to um, a few of my other videos, and I hope you do watch those as well. Thank you, bye.